Today, we're going to talk about the one thing that I've come across in over 20 years as a family medicine physician that will decrease your risk of heart attacks and strokes and many other things. But we're going to talk about, of course, a whole food plant-based diet and the five reasons that it not only can potentially reverse cardiovascular disease, but definitely prevent and improve your current state of health. So welcome to the channel. My name is Dr. Lori Marvis. I'm a board certified family and lifestyle medicine physician who has spent the last 13 years focusing on whole food plant-based diets and understanding the science, working with thousands and thousands of patients. Started my own company called Plant-Based Telehealth that we sold to John Mackey, who started Whole Foods, then went on to start additional companies and now working independently below. Also, I just want to quickly mention before I get into the five reasons a plant-based diet can improve your cardiovascular health are three free resources. One is my cholesterol lowering protocol that I've used for the last four years successfully with patients to lower their cholesterol 25% or more in some cases. Two, a hypertension protocol that talks to you about how you can utilize certain foods to decrease your hypertension and a plant-based beginner's guide. Some I get constant requests on how to start a plant-based diet. What should I be looking for? And finally, definitely check out the link for The Healing Kitchen, which I do with Brittany Giruti. And we meet live every single week. We cook together. Well, Brittany does the cooking. And I answer all and many, any and all medical questions. It's a fabulous time. All the recipes are available. All of the uh, their recordings are available for everybody who joins at any time. There's also workshops that I do um, mostly on a monthly basis. This summer, I took a little time off, but getting back to it, <clears throat> again, fabulous resources, and we'd love to see you there. So now let's jump into the five reasons a plant-based diet can absolutely improve your cardiovascular health. So first of all, <clears throat> we understand cardiovascular disease is a modern epidemic, right? claiming more than 17 million lives annually worldwide. And in the United States, we can expect that over 600,000 people will die of a heart attack this year. <clears throat> and it's probably even higher. But even despite advances in medicine, our diets remain a root cause, guys, of this global health crisis. Interestingly, historical insights and cultural practices really have pointed us towards a solution. Back in 1958, researchers discovered that residents of Okinawa, Japan, renowned for their long lifespans, ate a diet predominantly consisting of sweet potatoes, vegetables, and tofu. Now, their rate of heart disease was among the lowest in the world. And today, science confirms that traditional diets, these types of traditional diets, hinted at a plant-based diet and how it can revolutionize heart health. So now, how? Here's how. Well, number one, <clears throat> lowering LDL cholesterol. This is really about targeting the silent killer, right? So LDL cholesterol is known as your bad cholesterol. It plays a central role in artery clogging, artery clogging atherosclerosis, which leads to heart attacks and strokes. A plant-based diet rich in soluble fiber from oats, legumes, and fruits binds to the cholesterol in the digestive system and helps flush it out, literally excretes it, escorts it out the other end. <clears throat> For example, in a 2021 meta-analysis of over 698,000 participants found that individuals who adhere to plant-based diet had a 16% lower risk of cardiovascular disease and significantly reduced LDL cholesterol levels. Contrast that with the average Western diet laden with saturated fats and animal products, which increases cholesterol and arterial damage. Number two, enhancing insulin sensitivity. It's really about breaking the diabetes cardiovascular disease connection. The link between diabetes and heart disease is absolutely well documented. Up to 68% of people over 65 with diabetes die from heart related complications. Insulin resistance, the precursor to prediabetes and diabetes, worsens lipid imbalances and accelerates your atherosclerosis. So plant-based diets shine here by stabilizing blood sugar, enhancing insulin function. I will tell you the first time I realized how powerful a whole food plant-based diet was reversing type two diabetes is honestly someone who went all in, we had to stop 60 units of insulin in 72 hours. Most of the time, if I have a patient who is insulin resistant on significant amounts of insulin, um, for their type 2 diabetes, I will either cut it in half or their amount of insulin that they're using 
or I will stop it altogether, just depending on the numbers, the last A1C. There's kind of an art <laughs> and a science to decreasing and deprescribing medications. To do it safely, you really need to know what you're doing. And after seeing thousands and thousands of patients, I absolutely feel qualified to say I'm an expert at this. So another famous example, though, is the work of Dr. Neil Bernard, who's demonstrated that individuals following a vegan diet have experienced significant improvements in insulin sensitivity and blood glucose levels. Reducing your de de dependence on medication is just like I described. These effects not only protect against diabetes, but they also cut down the risk of heart-related complications. <clears throat> Number three is reducing systemic inflammation. And this again is fighting another hidden enemy, right? So inflammation acts like a slow burning fire in the arteries, damaging blood vessels and setting the stage for the heart disease. The typical Western diet full of processed meats and fried foods is rich in inflammatory compounds, while plant-based diets are packed with anti-inflammatory nutrients. Historical evidence supports this. Studies in Mediterranean populations whose diets emphasize whole grains, fruits, and vegetables show lower levels of CRP, which is an inflammatory marker. Um, it's just so, so powerful. Plant-based diets, which are rich in fiber, also promote the production of what we describe as short-chain fatty acids in the gut, which calm inflammation and, again, protect against cardiovascular uh, diseases. So number four is improving blood pressure. This is really, I feel like nature's antidote to hypertension. So hypertension is dubbed the silent killer. It affects nearly 50% of adults in the United States and significantly raises the risk of cardiovascular disease. Plant-based diets work wonders by emphasizing potassium rich foods like bananas, spinach, and sweet potatoes while cutting down on sodium. In 1990, Dr. Dean Ornish um, conducted other groundbreaking research showing that patients who adopted a low-fat, plant-based diet saw significant reductions in blood pressure. Potassium in plant-based foods help relax blood vessels, improving circulation and reducing strain on the heart. Plus, it counteracts the effects of sodium. So potassium, you know, foods rich in potassium are the way to go. Number five is supporting a healthy gut microbiome. So this is where we're gonna talk about the heart-gut connection. So modern research increasingly highlights the gut's role in cardiovascular health. A poor diet fosters harmful gut bacteria that produce things called trimethylene inoxide or TMAO, which is a byproduct linked to heart disease. In contrast, a plant-based diet encourages beneficial bacteria that produce the short-chain fatty acids we mentioned before, which again, lower inflammation and improve cholesterol levels. Okay, let's talk about Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn's works, whose studies on heart disease really showed that transitioning to a whole food plant-based diet, plant diet not only improved your gut health, but also reversed arterial damage. So his patients who once required multiple bypass surgeries became, as he would describe, heart attack proof through dietary changes alone. So in conclusion, you know, history, culture, and science have converged to deliver a powerful message. Plant-based diets are not just another health trend. They are life-saving prescription for a healthier heart by lowering your LDL cholesterol, enhancing insulin sensitivity, reducing inflammation, controlling blood pressure, and fostering a healthy gut. These diets tackle the root causes of cardiovascular disease. So incorporating plant-based eating isn't just about living longer, it's about living better, okay? The evidence is clear in the Times Act now. So really, your heart deserves it, guys. Don't let, don't be another victim to something that can absolutely be prevented or at least improved. So that is what I have for you. Go and please check out the free stuff below, the cholesterol lowering protocol, the plant-based beginner's guide, and my hypertension protocol. And if you're really looking for a loving community, and live interaction where we can help answer all your questions and cook with you on a weekly basis. I mean, every single Wednesday we meet together. We've been doing this for well over a year now, about a year and a half actually, and have a plethora of recipes and all the videos. And I get a wealth of questions from all sorts of crazy stuff, even outside of a plant-based diet about cholesterol, hypertension, cancer, gut health, um, you name it, prostate health. I've gotten a flu. I don't ever know 
I never know what's coming to me and through the questions, but it really keeps me on my toes. Um, so definitely check it out. It's a wonderful, wonderful way uh, to help support your plant-based journey. And Brittany, by the way, if you're not familiar with her, she has a wonderful YouTube channel called The Gerudi Family. She just had her first fully plant-based baby, plant-based pregnancy. She's been plant-based herself 78 years. She lost 70 pounds. And at 4 foot 11, that is a significant weight loss for anyone, but especially when you're under 5 foot. So check her out if you um, want, again, a great place to have a wonderful resource to find amazing food and recipes. We're here to help you along your way, and I hope you check it out. Thanks again, everyone, for being here, as always. I so appreciate you and sending gratitude, joy, love, and healing your way. And we'll be back tomorrow. And again, don't forget to check out those free resources. Share this video with someone you know <clears throat> who has hypertension, who has diabetes, because all of these folks are going to be at risk for cardiovascular disease. So we appreciate you sharing the word and we appreciate your support. And again, we'll be back tomorrow with, I'm sure with something. <laughs> Have a great day, everyone.